Good morning, Lee and I are here, ready for your eight o'clock yoga practice. So um, get yourself oriented with your mat, maybe some water. Um, I don't know that a block will be necessary, but if you have one, you're welcome to use it. Say no hi, one's, Leah. No one's watching, though. So you maybe want to wait until someone starts watching. Okay. I think. Okay, well, the thing is, it's going to be held on the page. Yeah, I know, but like... So. You can wait a few minutes for someone to join. <laughs> or I can just I roll. Think. Class starts, class starts. You're never on time. I know. Hello, viewers. Does he have stream? Okay, so there you go. There's, okay. All right, see? They're ready. Oh, okay. Yay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know how this works either. All right, so 8 o'clock is 8 o'clock. Let's go. Leah's here to help us out. Oh, they're all your friends. I know they're all my friends. See, you don't have to be nervous. See? Um, yeah, so Leah and I live together, so we're not doing too much about social distancing, at least not in this room because we barely have six feet. But we have enough room to do a practice, and hopefully you do too. So get your water, get your block, and we'll start with froggies. So froggies are coming into a squat with your heels lifted and um, your knees facing away from you. I'm gonna do it facing. Take your hands in front of you and claw the floor or else put your hands flat to the floor. You're welcome to move your hands further away from you than you expect. And this is our exhale position. On the inhale, you'll lift your hips and squeeze your inner thighs together. And then exhale, come back down. I'm gonna count, we'll do 26. This is two, inhale up, drop your head. Exhale down. Leah's a little quick this morning, but you don't have to be. So inhale up, exhale down to your own rhythm. And we'll get there. We'll get there. It's opening the hips and um, finding some grounding energy. So I've been going to my practice like I know many of you have and um, remembering the very first instruction of yoga, which is Atta Yoga Anushasanam. Now the practice of yoga begins. And so in this present moment, just finding some grounding and some release and some breath that lets you anchor and really be here. And then that way, no matter how choppy the waters get, where the wind blows, <clears throat> what pushes and pulls at you, the present moment is, um, is the only place we have power or impact anyway. Are you still counting? I am. You've got six more. <laughs> I think six is on the light side. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, last inhale up. Drop your heels, ragdoll, feet hip distance. And then glide your hands up your legs to the tops of your thighs, a flat back. So breathe in, stretch the heart forward, push the thighs way back, and then interlace your hands behind your back. So reach back and clasp your hands. Pull the hands back behind you, pull the heart forward in front of you. Get longer, get longer, get longer, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and now wrench your shoulders. Belly on thighs, sit bones up, and head down. I want to give a shout out to DJ Taz Rashid, who is very generous by letting yoga teachers use his music for live stream during um, this experience. So um, thanks to him. And you'll see Leah making some modifications to her practice today. She takes really good care of her back, often drops her knees through her connecting vinyasas, and, um, you know, giving yourself permission to do that, too, as we... As we get old. As we get old. <laughs> as we get tired. As we get real about how we feel, right? <laughs> so sometimes it's just fessing up that it doesn't feel as good as maybe it, it um, needs to in order to stay in every single chaturanga throughout the class. So deep breath in. And exhale the hands to the floor. Good. A flat back inhale. And fold. And now stand up. Stand all the way up to a tall stretch. 
think we're going to lose her hands here. Oops, her head too, but that's okay. Side bend, go to the right. And you can take palm to palm. It's one of my favorite ways to get over there. Or you can grab hand to the wrist. In either case, keep pulling your left shoulder back and inflate up into your left armpit. So breath all the way up into the lift at the armpit. Exhale way over, way over. Good. Inhale up and switch sides. Exhale to the left. And you'll feel that if you drop the heart down a little, there's a certain position where you feel the stretch. And then if you roll the heart up, there's a different position. So for most of us, we tend to close down. So that's why I cue to lift up so that you get a second sensation there and something a little more interesting to feel. Up into the right arm, hit, inhale and exhale, way over soft to the edge. Good. And now two hands up sky high. Goal post your arms so that the palms are straight ahead and the shoulders come down nice and low. And then lift so that your elbows go forward and tip a little and your fingers go back and tip a little. And less concern about making a big back bend, more interested in just bringing the shoulder blades up under the heart. So go for that sticky tight spot behind the shoulders. Take the breath up, push the feet down, take the breath up. Good. Breathe out and lean back. And then two hands straight up. Pull your front ribs in. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Take your hands in front of you the way you had them in froggy. Lift your heels up beyond your toes. Good. Cow your spine. Drop the belly. Lift the heart. Pull the shoulders back. Look forward. Exhale. Cat your spine. Curl and tuck. Do a few like that. Keep the butt nice and low. So Leah, keep your butt down by your heels and just cat cow your spine right there. A tight little ball. Scoop the butt back and then let the tail glide under. Pull the shoulders low into your back pockets as you look forward, cow spine, and inhale. And push into the back space behind the shoulder blades as you tuck your chin. Exhale. And one more cow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold over your legs, flat your heels. Take your butt up, drop your head down. Now claw the floor with your left hand and wave your right hand up to the sky. Rotate through your spine. You can see when the left hand's down, there's a little bend to the left knee. That's A-OK. -okay. Find the cooperation wherever you can get it. Lift your left armpit away from the floor. Left sit bone back behind you. Left armpit straight ahead. More length in the spine. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Hand to the ground. Let's do the other side. Right hand. Left hand up. So you can see she's coming up to her finger pads. That gets her an extra inch or two. She could come up even to the tippy tops of the fingers. All you need is a little pressure into the ground. It's just a reminder that you can leverage down to reach up. And this time it would be your left side body getting longer and longer. Lean forward into the ball of your left foot. Push up into your left sit bone. Take a final breath in, wide open. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hug down nice and deep and tight, chin to chest, and then inhale, stand. Exhale, side bend to the right. And up tall, push the heels deep and reach up tall. Exhale, side bend to the left. See if you can get the ribs to really lift on the inhale. So come on up and lift the side ribs high. Goal post the arms and tip back a little mini back bend. Now erase the back bend, pull the front ribs in and reach straight up, be tall and strong. Exhale, forward full. Take the hands down, bend your knees, squat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, forward fold. Heels to the ground, left hand up. Inhale, twist. Exhale, release. Other side, inhale, twist. Exhale, release. Flat back and fold. Take your hands behind your calves, tuck your chin and go deep down, sit bones high. Now push down, sweep up, inhale. Side bend, right? to the top. Relax. You're not going anywhere. Side bend left. The feet are staying right here. Home sweet home. Inhale up. Root yourself and back bend. Lift the heart to the sky. 
Inhale, take the back bend out, get strong, integrate. Exhale, forward fold. Now squat down, inhale, cow spine. Exhale, cat spine. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, forward fold. Left hand down, right hand up, twist, inhale. Release, take the full breath in and be elastic. Open and stretch. Release, flat back. The hands can slide up, get long, shoulders high, and release, fold. Let's do it again, push down, rise. Follow your breath, follow it all the way up, and then follow it way over. Bottom of the exhale, way over. And then up you go, up you go, nice and full. There's no hurry, go left. So you want to stretch the breath like taffy. Up you go. Inhale, longer, deeper breath in. Exhale, back bend. Lean. Inhale, straight up. And dive deep down. Down. Squatting cat cow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Full exhale. We're moving the spine in six directions. Right hand up, inhale. So even though the feet aren't going anywhere, right hand down, left hand up, inhale. So much gets accomplished, lengthen, so much flush, so much strength, fold, so much flexibility, rise, two more, go right, inhale, go left. Inhale, and down, back bend. Reach, reach and strong, and deep and down. Squatty cat cow. Exhale. Inhale, forward fold, open up the backs of the hips. Reach up and twist, and release. Good. So you've got a rhythm of breath. It'll just carry you flat back and fold. It'll carry you through. So steady on. Anchor down. Reach up. Stay steady breath all the way through. Last time through. Leah's breath is inspiring me to breathe deeper. We've got the diffuser going in here with a little bit of immune support, so air feels really good. This present moment right here with this breath and this movement is all, all you really need. You can lose yourself in that. Flat back and step back, high plank pose. Let's create a little heat. Hold this for a moment. One of the things I appreciate about Leah's plank is that she's um, strong all the way through her core cylinder. So she's figured out how to um, integrate in at the armpits and lift the side ribs up into the shoulder blade so there's no scapular winging from her. She's got some nice um, support from her serratus. Talking with the TTs yesterday about the shoulder girdle. It's really important. Embarrassing. I don't know about that. She's blushing. She doesn't know about all that. All right. So we're three more breaths all together. Inhale. Exhale. And when you breathe in, feel like you're floating up. Make the quads a little stronger. Lift the inner thighs a bit higher. And exhale. Stretch the legs long and take this last breath in. And then as you breathe out, gentle the knees down to the ground. So don't lose your core. Keep your belly strong. Bend your elbows just halfway. Not as low as you think you have to go. And then flat to the floor. Three cobras. Slide the hands back a little bit. Lengthen the toes. Push into the pubic bone. Bring the air in and lift. And release, back body, wake up, inhale, lift, and release. 
One more cobra up. And down, and now a full up dog if you're ready. Push down into the hands, strengthen the legs, lift the hips, lift the thighs, lift the knees, the shins. Pull the shoulders down and squeeze them a little closer to each other. Use your rhomboids, pull back. Exhale over your toes, down face dog. Good. Breath in and breath out. Walk forward a little bit, love. You're gonna kick. Inhale, three legged dog, right leg up. Exhale, knee to the nose, tuck your knee under. Lift the side ribs, push into the arms and lift the back body up. Good, three-legged dog, inhale. And squeeze under a second time. So get the lift and the engagement of the core and then relax that and drop your knee shin down. Lift your left foot up, drop your heart. I mean, yeah, lift your heart, sorry, Leah. Drop your belly, lift your heart, cow your spine. Good. Now drop the back foot, tuck and curl, right knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Let's do that again. Exhale, knee to nose. Drop the knee, shin, lift the left foot, arc up. Exhale, curl, tuck, anchor the left foot, lift the right knee, three-legged dog. Last one. Exhale, under. Shin drop, cow spine, cat spine. Three-leg dog, and step the right foot forward. Anchor the back foot down to 90 degrees, warrior to the back foot. Take the right forearm onto the right thigh. Take the left hand to the hip, and pull the left hip on top of the right. Good, feel your right bum tucking under just enough, and then dangle your left arm down towards the ground. Sweep it forward, up overhead, and back. Make a big circle, rotate all the way around. Now watch your hands with your eyes and let your heart roll down to the ground on your exhale as you drop the hand. Roll the heart up towards the sky as you inhale and reach up. Good. Forward, up, back. Forward, up, back. And this time reverse warrior. Let your right hand follow. Inhale. Oh, that's okay. What? Roll the right palm to face the back. Lift your right armpit. It's a side stretch. Good. Last breath in. And Chaturanga Dandasana. Urdhva Mukha. Adha Mukha. Yeah, see what I mean? She does it her way. It's a good thing. You can do that too. Lift your left leg. Exhale your knee to your nose. Pause there a moment. And so this is our core work. No need to lay on the back and get crunches. Just come up higher with the hips, push up into the back body skin. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, curl tuck under. Each time you curl under, you use the core, you get plenty, plenty of core. Drop your knee shin down, lift your right foot, and put a little back bend into it. Good. Curl tuck under, right foot down, left knee up, squeeze and three-legged dog. We'll do two more. Bigger breath then. Exhale under, drop, inhale, lift, exhale, lengthen, inhale. Flex the foot, feel through the tip of the heel. Exhale under, shin down, heart up. Curl, tuck, squeeze, cat in the spine. Three-legged dog and a step forward. Feel for the left heel to push down and then the right knife edge to anchor. Left forearm to the left knee shin and right hand to the hip. So getting your left bum to slide under and then lift at the arch of the right foot so that the right leg becomes the foundation you really need for it to be. And right hand dangle. Inhale, sweep the right hand forward and then exhale back behind you. And the arm circles kind of set the stage for this sweeping motion that we're going to use as we rise. So we're creating a little um, neuromuscular pattern that um, can get established in the body so that less thinking and more feeling, your vinyasa will flow effortlessly. Inhale up, back, and down and then inhale to sweep all the way to reverse warrior good so bring the chin into your throat 
And maybe take the chin to the right shoulder and look back to the knife edge of the right foot. It's good to know where your roots are. You know, it's good to recognize where the stability is, especially at times when the world feels like it's shaking. You can look to your feet and know that you're anchored right there. Left armpit up, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Come on down. Travel through. Travel through. Up face. And down face dog. Deep breath in. And a sigh out. Good. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, chin tuck, knee nose. Shin drop, inhale. Exhale, curl tuck. Three legged dog, a long right leg, and then a big step. Step forward, sweep the left hand forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, warrior two. Today's one of those days we're going to build a sequence. Leah's getting a little feedback from the visual on the screen there. She dropped her wrists. That's a really good adjustment to make. It'd be a really helpful adjustment for softening the shoulders and finding some float in the arms. There's a place where they'll float effortlessly, where you don't have to work as hard as you think. We want our muscles down the arms to be engaged but not rigid, relaxed but not slack, so that there's presence. Atta Yoga Anushasanam. Now the practice of yoga begins. And so this asana, this moment, is your now. Inhale, hands up, right knee straight. Exhale, skandasana, hands to heart, bend the left knee. Lift the ball of the right foot. If you're new to me, you're digging into the right heel, splaying the toes back. But it's going to slide back a little bit so you can get down into the hips. Let's go back to warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Again, up on an inhale, skandasana on an exhale. Up on an inhale, open on an exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Reverse warrior, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward face. And downward face dog. Sweep the left leg up. Take the next breath and lift. Exhale, tuck under. Shin down, inhale. Shin up, exhale. Three-legged dog. Breathe in, breathe in, all the way in. And then a big breath out, step. Empty the air, angle the warrior two foot. And then inhale, sweep up, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. We'll give her a moment. We'll give her a moment so that you can feel your way into the now of it. Being in the now doesn't mean that the mind necessarily gets still and quiet. It just means that you're not a victim of that. You can still give her a little shimmy shake dance. Good. Up inhale. Nope, standing. Straight left leg. Skandasana, exhale. Hands up, inhale. Arms open, warrior two. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, generous breath. Build into a little flexibility down there, good. Inhale. Exhale, reverse warrior. And Chaturanga Dandasana. And you're welcome to skip the vinyasas altogether and just meet in down dog. Just, you know, really important that you take the variation that's compassionate and respectful for what you're feeling today. All right, pausing breath. We're adding on. We're adding on. Right leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck under. Shin drop. Cat spine, lift and squeeze, a long leg, and then a big step. Cartwheel, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise, and skandasana pose. Up you go, breathe in. This time, angle to the front, crescent lunge, arms wing back like airplane. 
So you want to feel the strength from the tip of your left heel pulling all the way up through your heart and through the crown of your head. You're going to take the right hand behind your back. Take the left hand reaching forward. Palm to the right side of your room. Left heel back, left hand forward, strong through the core, right. Take your chin towards your right shoulder. We're going to twist as we rise. Left hand up, reverse revolve, look to the right. Drop your right shoulder low and then drop your left shoulder low. Drop your left shoulder low, but breathe your left armpit up. There you go. Beautiful. Now anchor your left elbow to the outer right knee and prayer twist. Keep rolling down into the big toe mound of your right foot. Keep engaging up your outer left thigh. So this lunge has four directions. You want to feel your left heel pushing back, your right shin pushing forward, your right thigh dropping down, and important in a twist, your left thigh lifting up. Squeeze your inner thighs. You've got this. The ground's right underneath you. Hands up, crescent warrior. And chaturanga dandasana. Good job. Lift on an inhale and roll over your toes. Left leg, inhale. Exhale, squeeze. You might find these familiar moments, just all about the sensation and the breath, a little less mental, conscious engagement. And the new moments bringing you back to reverse warrior. Warrior two, back to your thinking, conscious awareness. Inhale up, exhale, dip. You come in and out of states of meditation. Lift up, inhale, in and out of states of flow. Exhale, lunge to the front, airplane arms, sorry. Good. Core strength first, keep pulling the ribs in. Back leg, trustworthy. Right hand forward, left hand behind the back. Pull, push, and twist. Look to the left and rotate. Shoulders down, right arm hit up. Good, good. Each breath is a little moment of creative adjustment. And right elbow to outer left knee. Tighten into the twist. Push down into your left palm, up into your right palm. Pull the shoulders away from your ears and squeeze the blades behind. And then you've got some support from your shoulder girdles as well. We talked about the lunge on the first side, so use that information to stabilize yourself. And then when it's time, and it is, exhale everything out. Steady back to center. Look straight ahead, hands to the sky. Chaturanga Dandasana. Urdhva Mukha, that's inhale, up dog, and exhale, downward facing. Inhale breath, exhale breath. Good, we have another piece of our puzzle. We're putting it all together. Right leg up, inhale, knee to nose, chin drop. I don't even have to tell Leo. This familiar part is already in the body. Step, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise. Exhale, skandasana. We're coming to a lunge. Inhale up, pivot to the front, airplane wings back. Right hand behind your back, left hand up, reverse revolve. This time we're going to standing split. So an inhale to reach up, exhale, cartwheel the hands down, kick your left foot up to the sky. Exhale, curtsy down, tap your left knee behind your right ankle. Good, do it again, kick up on an inhale, curtsy down on an exhale. And one more time, long and strong in the legs. Exhale, dip down nice and low. And then anchor your left hand down and reach your right hand up, twist. So get your dip, Leah. get into your tip, curtsy dip. And now right hand up. And keep the bum nice and low. So you can use the back toes to stabilize for sure. 
Yeah, why not? Why not? We talked at the opening of class how the left sit bone to the left armpit. That's going to give you more strength. If you really want to play with balance, you could bring your hands to prayer. You could. If you wanted to play with balance about it. Good. Everybody, hands down. Standing split. Inhale. Exhale, big toes touch. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing. Left leg, let's get to it. Lift and tuck. Shin drop and squeeze. Lengthen, 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 and take a big step. Leap with your right arm, sweep it forward, and inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Stand, inhale. Stand, asana, exhale. Standing, pivoting, lunge. Left hand behind your back, inhale, reverse, revolve. Right hand forward and then up, twist left. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, standing split. A few little curtsies, I find that really clears any congestion in my low back. I also find that it feels nice to dig deeper into the standing foot and stretch up higher into the lifted leg. So deeper into the left foot gets you higher to the right foot. Okay, next curtsy down is our twist. So dip low, right hand down, left hand up. and feel where the muscular engagement is and how bending your knee more puts more um, load into the muscle group. So if you're looking to get strong, it's a little deeper bend in the left knee that will help you with that. You're working with her um, vestibular system here, getting some balancing in. Hands down, standing splits. Exhale, big toes touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up face. Down face. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit because you've got the picture. You've got the idea. I'm just going to give a few reminding cues. Inhale with the right leg. Exhale, tuck. You've got shin drop. Inhale and exhale. Good. When you step forward, you're waiting for the inhale to bring you up to reverse warrior. Warrior two. Up and down into skandasana. We're coming to the front of the mat, lunging the arms back. Twist, twist to the right, left hand high. Exhale, standing split. Inhale, kick the left heel. Exhale, curtsy down. Take a twist, right hand high. Exhale, hand down. Standing split and big toes touch. Bend the knees generously. Inhale, sweep up. Side bend, go to the right. Up to center. Go to the left. Up you go. Standing back bend, full post arms. Straight up, pull your belly in, reach. Exhale, dive down. Squatting, inhale, cow spine. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, fold over your legs. Twist, right hand up, inhale. Right hand down. Left hand up, inhale. And down. Flat back. Every moment, be aware of what you're doing. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up face. Walk yourself. Down face. All right, yogis, left side, lift. Tuck. Always be aware of what you're doing. Atta Yoga Ashanasana. <laughs> now is the time. You have to then Mostly have because to now is the moment where the lessons are. You know, yesterday's lessons are over. Now is the point you have to let that we're working. So if we're working this moment to our best, 
We're learning our lessons. Accessing our growth. Standing splits. Exhale, curtsy. Twist, left hand up and left hand down. Standing splits. Exhale, big toes touch. Bend your knees, push down, rise up. Inhale. This is our grounding sun A. You've got side bends. You could be alone. Full post back bend. Up on inhale. And forward fold. Squatting cat cow. You have to let it happen. Forward fold and there are twists. You have to let yourself wake up. Become liberated. Flat back. Chaturanga. Yeah, being in the present moment supports us in waking up as we're intended to. Go ahead and drop your knees. Take a child's pose. Wrap your forehead across the mat. If you need a little more release through the shoulders, I find that if I take my hands back along my sides, there's a glide in the, in the um, shoulder blades that can feel uh, pretty relaxing. Nice yogis, very nice. We only have an hour, so we're gonna reach forward and come to down dog. Keep moving along. A little opportunity here for those of you who want to jump a couple froggy jumps and get a little handstand <laughs> practice going. So when you bend your knees, take your feet wide, or take your knees wide when you bend them. You know, step a little closer, your feet together, knees wide. There you go. Yeah, and then lean into your hands and pull your butt up. You know, little baby hops just let you know someday. Today doesn't need to be the day you get a handstand. But if you're leaning forward and feeling some weight into your arms, you're making your shoulder girdle a little bit stronger, you're giving your bones some weight-bearing activity for bone density, and we're going to land in a goddess squat. Leah's given me that look like enough is enough. So goddess squat, she's going to reorient so that you can see her a little better, and she's got some more space. <laughs> In goddess squat, right hand out to the right, anchor it down to the floor, anchor to the floor first, and then left hand across, left hand up. And so from left, right hand to left hand, you've got a big X. See what you can do to lift your shoulders back a little bit, Leah? Good. That's it. And now take your left hand behind your back. Some of us can reach the right hand under and catch a bind. But I prefer for Leah to show you this way. Why did you do this to me? I know. I'm going to give you a better way for you. Okay. This is why you're doing this, because you're giving the better way for the people who okay. can't get the bind. The people that get the bind, they know their business. But the people that can't need help, like you. So right arm around from behind your right leg and hook your right leg from behind. Okay? Left hand behind the back. Take a forward fold. Drop your head down. Lift your butt and forward fold. Bring your right arm out behind your right knee and so it's not quite a thong. Hop your left foot under. You can see she's already leaning into the left foot. Some of you know we're going up to Bird of Paradise. But you want to get that forward fold in and adjust your bind before you come hopping up. Yeah. Yeah. And so she's pushing down into her standing leg and lifting her sternum, and that's nice. Flex the right foot, and then maybe if you flex the right foot and push to the right heel, the leg comes a little straighter, but it doesn't necessarily have to. And if you practice before you know that the destination here, after you practice your bird of paradise to your own personal satisfaction, destination tree. So she's going to do that open hip kind of inner groin stretch for as long as she'd like. And then she's got this beautiful headless tree. <laughs> I know. It's good. Hashtag home practice. Yeah. 
Good, back to goddess squat. Step, step, drop. Hands to heart and inhale, lift. All right, this time the left hand's gonna anchor to the floor to the left and the right hand's gonna reach up. And you wanna get a little lift and open heart action. So every little bit counts. So every step along the way, you're kind of moving towards your destination. <laughs> right hand behind the back. And if you've got the mind under the left thigh, you can take it, otherwise go around. And it's like you've got a big fish hook hugging your left leg. Forward fold is really important. Drop the head, lift the hips, get the right foot underneath you. Bring the bind out of behind the knee, and then up she goes. The wobbling is a part of the experience, so don't worry about that. That needs to happen. It's the wobbling that lets your muscles get stronger. They're gonna twitch, engage, and release to organize you. And it's not just your muscles. You're, you know, you're working with your nervous system, your vestibular system, proprioceptive system where you are in space. You're working all those pieces and parts that you don't necessarily see with your eyes. Good job, good wobbling, Leah. Way to go, tree pose. Breathe in, breathe out, push down. And got a squat. Nice. Those of you who like to crow can drop your hands, lift your hips, and float for a moment. I think it's going to reorient. And um, I think I'll just have you do a forward fold, Leah. Why don't you just forward fold? And we'll travel back. Inhale, flat back. Everyone's chaturanga dandasana. Pro folks can shoot back if they'd like. Upward face and downward facing dog. Good. All right, right knee up, right leg up, inhale. Right knee to chest. And then right knee to left elbow, twist it under. Straighten the leg. Lift your left hand up and wild open. Push into two feet and stretch way up high. Good, roll the heart up a little bit higher, take the breath in, and then exhale, left hand down, knee the nose. Three-legged dog, bend, twist, and flip on over. So drop your right foot, walk your feet together, find the ground, and open the heart up on this side of the body. Take the right hand behind the head, drop the right elbow out, lift the right armpit up, and then tuck your right shoulder blade back into the back pocket. Good. Nice. Back the way you came. Right hand to the ground. Right hand, right foot up. Right knee, left elbow, wild thing. Slide under. Open up a second time. Reach up. And this time drop your butt down to the ground. Sit. Fold over your left leg. Fold to the back. Tuck your chin. Relax. And Leah landed with her right leg straight, but a lot of times I find people will land with their knee bent, like a John Yushashasana, that's fine too. Neither's right or wrong. I tend to land with my leg straight too. But some hips, you know, are more comfortable with the bent knee once the butt is down. All right, it takes a lot of power to come up off the ground. Inhale, heart will back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. And high plank pose, two feet to the ground. Long, strong body, three breaths. You're welcome to pump out a couple push-ups if that's a nicer way for you to strengthen. Otherwise, just stabilize with your core. Last breath in and down face dog. Good. Other side now, lift the left leg. Bring the left knee to the nose. Bring it to the right elbow. Extend the leg and wild open. So important for the stability of and safety of this asana is actually the left shoulder coming under. And you can see that Leah's left shoulder is integrated way back into her shoulder girdle. It's not up by her ear. So she's pretty safe here. You'll have to feel for how you feel where your position. Last breath in. Exhale, hand down, knee to nose. Three-legged dog. And maybe she'll have room. Maybe you'll have room. Flip on over. 
There you go. And same rules apply to the bottom shoulder. So she actually ideally would move her feet back a little so that the bottom shoulder is tucked way under and she's safe. I love the, the modification of the hand behind the head because it gives me even more stability and form in the shoulders. So lift your right hip point up, take a final breath in, and then exhale, hand down, knee the nose. Three-legged dog, wild thing, shift the left leg under, right hand up, drop your butt, you're folding over your right leg. You can see she's not pulling on her leg or her foot, she's just relaxing and letting the relaxed muscles pull into the deeper tissues. Gravity will take care of this last breath out, go down, and then inhale, sweep up. Bring the left knee to your nose and get tight. Three-legged dog, high plank pose, and how about five breaths this time? Inhale. Inhale. Three, inhale. Inner thighs, inner thighs, legs long, inhale. Push down into the hands, pull the heart up into your body, don't let it collapse. Inhale. Down face dog, nice job, nice job. Half pigeon, right knee, right wrist. Lift the heart up and drop down low. We've got a track here that DJ Taz first shared in October here in Akron when he was visiting for um, sound off. That's it, sound off, thank you. <laughs> he was visiting for sound off and he just released it um, free for us to live stream, so I'll let you have that. Take a deep breath in, lift your heart, and lengthen your left leg behind you. Deep breath in, exhale, drop down. Last 30 seconds, relax into it a little bit deeper. Child's pose. Knee to knee, drop your belly to your thighs, forehead to the floor. And down face dog. 
Left knee, left wrist. When you lift the heart, you're stretching the, the psoas, the inner muscles of the core. And if you can kind of pull back into your left thigh and drop the front of the right um, quad down, right hip down, you'll feel how the hips can square off. We just gotta do our own assisting here. Deep breath in, lengthen, exhale, sink into your second edge, soften, release and relax. Let the breath be natural. And child's pose. We're going to take a forward fold, and really there are three choices for your forward fold. You're welcome to swing your legs around, come to seated with the legs straddled wide. You could sit with the flats of the feet together, butterfly legs, knees bent open. Or you could extend your legs straight ahead the way Leah is here and just fold over. Um, you know, back when Patanjali wrote those words, Atta, Yoga, Anushasanam, now the practice of yoga begins. Now the instruction of yoga begins. When he wrote those words, there were no yoga mats. So the practice of yoga wasn't confined to a little square on the floor. There were no yoga classes. Your practice of yoga wasn't confined to 60 minute clock, logging on at exactly eight o'clock to join me this morning. You know, the practice of yoga was just living life it's just the practice of life. And um, there was an appreciation then, as I'm sure there is with you now, um, that all of the experiences we have here are a part of the practice. We've had some pretty new, unexpected poses in our practice lately. 
So it's good that um, it's good that we have the habit of showing up and trying new things, so that we have the skills to take things systematically and to work breath by breath and to stay in the present moment and to trust that we'll get there. Three more breaths, deep in and out. And then use your hands to walk yourself upright. Lean back into the heels of your hands. If you are in a wide straddle or a butterfly, you're welcome to flat your feet. Bend your knees and reverse table. If you're in a forward fold, you could take it as reverse plank, but go ahead and lift the hips up. Either option is fine. Inhale and exhale, lie to your back. Feet flat, knees bent, drop the knees to the right, eyes to the left. A little final twist here. All right, other side. And happy baby or knees to chest. And Shavasana.
Go in and deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Curl to your right side in a fetal position. I'd like to offer you a few moments in meditation, like an extended shavasana, seated. So if you could push yourself up to seated, take your left hand onto your heart and raise your right hand like you're taking an oath. The right hand rise is Abhaya Mudra, the mudra of no fear. Position yourself so that you're heavy and anchored in your sit bones. So you might move your shoulders forward or back or left or right so that you can feel where the ground is how very supported you are. And then feel for your left hand on your sternum. Feel for your left hand on your heart. Feel how very connected you are, how committed you are to caring for yourself, that you're here at 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Feel for your right hand raised. And strength up your spinal line. And know that there's nothing to fear. There's just a moment to moment yoga practice. But you're living through the experiences of your life. Atta Yoga Anushasanam, now is the practice of yoga. Take a deep breath in, sigh out, release your hands, bring them to prayer, thumb knuckles at your third eye, and please accept my, well, my deepest respect and all my gratitude and many, many blessings for a safe, happy, and healthy day. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And um, <laughs> you're welcome to log on to Yoga Bliss and contribute to, um, I think it's a $20 monthly that um, donation that Caroline has set up in case you'd like to support our offerings um, on live. So anyway, hey, good morning. Hi, Lisa. Thank Aww. you. <laughs> Julie, thank you. All my fans. Oh, Julie had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Hi, Carrie. Love you. I know. Good morning, Carrie. Okay, go to church or whatever you do on a Sunday. Many blessings. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. I think it's the red. Yep, yep, yep. yep.